This is TP-Link's newest Wi-Fi 7 mesh system called BE63 or BE10000. It is a mid-tier Wi-Fi 7 mesh system and priced at only $699 at the time of this review. So in this review, we're doing a Wi-Fi speed and coverage test to see if TP-Link can deliver the performance they claim. So let's first do a quick unboxing. The Wi-Fi 7 mesh system comes with outstanding packaging. It comes with some quick start guides, power adapter for each unit, and an Ethernet cable. Now let's look at the specs. It's a tri-band Wi-Fi 7, 4 internal antennas, 2x2 MU-MIMO, OFDMA, MLO, seamless AI roaming, 320MHz bandwidth, multi-RUS, 4K QAM, wireless and wired backhaul, can connect up to 200 devices. And when you're looking at the ports, you have 4 25 gig ports for WAN or LAN, and a USB 3 port, a reset button, and WPS button. This Wi-Fi 7 mesh system can support up to 10 gigabits per second bandwidth, and following is a breakdown. 6G supports 5,188 megabits per second, 5G supports 4,324 megabits per second, and 2.4G supports 574 megabits per second. Overall, the build quality is great, and really like the case design. It is easy to integrate into any home environment, and plenty of ventilation helps the system to stay cool under heavy workloads. Now let's do some performance coverage and speed test. So we place the Wi-Fi 7 mesh system in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it, and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test, we're using Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 card, which is the fastest Wi-Fi client card available in the market, and it also backward compatible with Wi-Fi 6E devices. It will help us get the full potential of the TP-Link mesh performance. We're also using a 10 gig Ethernet wired computer as an open speed test server, which is hosted locally to measure the performance of the Wi-Fi routers and mesh systems. But since TP-Link mesh unit only has 2.5 gig LAN ports, we will be limited to 2.5 gig bandwidth. So keep that in mind. So the total square footage of the house is 5,000 square feet. We tested connection extreme corners and each floor of the house. Since Wi-Fi 7 mesh offers MLO capability, we conducted tests with MLO enable and second test with MLO disabled to compare them both and see if it makes any difference. If you're not familiar with MLO, it is a new capability offered by Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems or routers. It enables devices to simultaneously send and receive data. Also, when you have MLO enable, you lose the dedicated 6G wireless backhaul connection as well. So keep that in mind. Also, Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 client card is capable of MLO. We also made sure we have AX EHT enable in the Wi-Fi card configuration. Let's review the results. First location, which is within the 5 feet of the main Wi-Fi 7 mesh unit in the basement, we achieved full 2 gigabits per second of download and upload Wi-Fi speeds without MLO enable and 2.2 gigabits per second for both upload and download with MLO enable. So definitely, MLO has a better performance with close range test. So basically, we are saturating the full 2.4 gig LAN speed from our open speed test to the client. Excellent start. Next, we moved all the way to the left corner of the basement. Here we still achieved an average of 500 megabits per second for both upload and download without MLO enable, and an impressive 822 megabits per second download and 645 megabits per second upload with MLO enabled. Great results. Next, on the main floor to the left side of the house, we achieved 700 megabits per second download and 646 megabits per second upload speed without MLO enable and 724 megabits per second download and 580 megabits per second upload with MLO enabled. These are one of the best results we have achieved at this location of the house compared to our previous Wi-Fi 6E routers and mesh systems. Excellent results. Moving on to the right side, we achieved 790 megabits per second for download and 979 megabits per second for upload without MLO enabled and 770 megabits per second for download and 939 megabits per second for upload with MLO enabled. Again, one of the best scores ever. Moving on to the first floor, to the left side, we achieved 983 megabits per second for download and 1.2 gigabits per second for upload without MLO enabled and 768 megabits per second for download and 1 gig upload with MLO enabled. Here we first time seeing MLO is not performing as well as dedicated 6G wireless backhaul connection. Impressive results no doubt, but interesting outcome comparing both numbers. Then we move to the right side and achieve 952 megabits per second for download and 1.2 gigabits per second for upload without MLO enable and 549 megabits per second for download and 620 megabits per second for upload with the MLO enable. Again, the best scores we ever achieve at this location, but we started to understand the difference between MLO and dedicated 6G backhaul connection benefits. 
So for the final test, we moved to the garage. We achieved an impressive 500 megabits per second average without MLO enable and 400 megabits per second average with MLO enable. Again, these are the best results ever for this location as well. So what we learned from this performance review that MLO is an excellent option for close or mid range, but 6G dedicated backhaul shines at long range and produce great results. Also, in order to take advantage of the MLO option, you need to have an MLO capable client where 6G backhaul is better for general or legacy wireless clients like Wi-Fi 6E and Wi-Fi 6 or any 5G capable devices. Now let's talk about setting up TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. Setup was an easy three-step process. All you have to do is to download the TP-Link app to your Android or iOS device, connect your router to your modem, or if you have Fios with Ethernet connection, you can connect the router's WAN port directly to the Ethernet cable and you don't need a modem. Then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup. There are a lot of settings available to configure using the TP-Link Deco app. There are all the great options in TP-Link Deco app for general or advanced users. Let's do the final summary. TP-Link Deco BE63 BE10000 tri-band Wi-Fi 7 mesh system perform extremely good in this review. The Wi-Fi 7 mesh system offers fastest speed over 5,000 square feet in our test and have full confidence that it will perform over 7,000 square feet coverage. We were able to get the best possible speeds in every corner of the house and even in the garage, which is amazing. Also, the MLO speed boost is amazing if you have MLO capable devices. And with this new dedicated 6G backhaul connection, it makes a tremendous difference in speed and latency at long distance. The DP Link Deco app makes managing Wi Fi 7 mesh quite easy and lots of great options to control the mesh system, along with very capable printer control to control each device in the house. The Wi Fi 7 mesh is equipped with all 2.5G VAN or LAN connections. So you can take advantage of all the fastest internet speed offered by any internet service provider and the best part is it's priced at only $6.99 for 3 unit package and it is very much more capable than any competition in the market. So if you're in the market for Wi-Fi mesh system or Wi-Fi router, I highly recommend TP-Link's new Deco BE63 BE10000 Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. Let me know what you guys think of the review in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and sub to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.